Hey guys, this is Jack from FPV Academy and in this video we're just going to go over a beginner's buying guide to FPV quadcopters. So you want to get into FPV, you don't really know where to start, you don't have any previous experience in purchasing these products. So this is my guide to help make it a little bit easier for you. So all the products that I am going to be talking about today are what I would personally recommend. There are a whole bunch of different ones out there on the market, but these specific ones I have personally tried and tested and I've loved them. So I would definitely recommend these specific products to you guys. So let's start out all the way at the bottom, the cheapest, the easiest and the quickest way to get into FPV. And to do that, that is this little guy over here. This is the Blade Inductrix Ready to Fly FPV kit. So I really, really like this kit. Um, what I like about it is that it comes with everything that you need. So let's open this up. Uh, we are not going to be needing this top cover. That's just to uh, keep it closed. So this is the quad that comes along with it. As you can see, it's very tiny. You can fly this around in the house. Then you also get the radio, which you will be using to fly with it. And then another really cool thing is that you get the FPV screen, which attaches to your radio and that allows you to then fly FPV. So let me just close this box up real quick put this back and let's talk a little bit more about this. So this is probably the the highest quality little quad that you are going to find if you want to get into FPV. At the time of making this video, it retails for $200 for everything included, this entire box, and it is a really, really nice quadcopter, and it'll give you that same feeling of just flying FPV. What I really like about it is, as I mentioned, you can fly it in the house. Um, it's not really an outdoor flyer. Uh, if there's even the slightest breeze of wind, it is going to take it and then carry it away. So this is more for indoors, but it is extremely, extremely fun. Don't let the size fool you, you are going to have a lot of fun with this little guy. So then the screen that comes along with it, this is a very high quality screen. And in fact, this screen is the exact same screen on this set of goggles, which I will recommend as a, a set of FPV goggles. So uh, as a note, when you do purchase this whole big kit, the cool thing is that this screen will be able to, um, you will be able to use it along with your bigger quadcopters. You don't actually then need to go out and buy a bigger screen. So that is really, oh, not a bigger screen. You don't have to go out and buy a set of goggles dedicated for your FPV flying because this screen will work perfectly fine. It's a brilliant screen and I would definitely recommend it. So let's just pack these guys away and talk about the second little quad that I would recommend. So I would recommend this specific quad if you definitely know that I want to fly FPV. I know that I'm going to get into this um, and I know that eventually I'm going to be flying these bigger ones, then I would recommend you go with this little guy to start out first. So this is a custom built tiny whoop quad. It is the same one that we have over here, except um, this one is built from the base up. You purchase all the different parts and then you actually build it. It's really fun to build too. So this specific one has a lot uh, more higher performance than the little yellow one that you just saw. And these ones uh, are really, really nice to fly too. The only problem with this though is that you do need to then purchase, if you are going with this, you do need to purchase um, a radio to be able to fly it. And then also you do need to purchase a set of goggles separately because it doesn't come with any of those. So with all of that said though, um, on either one of these two kits, as a general um, uh, little guideline that I would give you is you might wanna purchase some extra batteries. These are really nice Lumineer batteries. They are very, very cheap. One battery just is not enough. And if you are gonna be wanting to fly a lot, these batteries really, really work nicely. So those are the batteries. And then if you are gonna purchase a lot more batteries, you'll notice that the little charger that comes along with this kit um, isn't enough because it only charges one battery at a time and it takes about half an hour to charge a single battery. So what you would wanna do then is invest in one of these guys. So this is a charger for your little tiny Woo batteries and it allows you to charge either three or six of the same batteries at the same time. So for this though, you would need to have a bigger charger. So again, as I said, if you know that you are gonna get into the bigger quads, you might as well just you know purchase a charger and the radio and the goggles and all of that to go with this little guy and then um, you can purchase this little charging adapter as well. And then this charger then just plugs into this JST cable which we have here, and then these two plug into your charger and that allows you to charge all six of those at the same time. So that's a really nice little thing to have too. So that is the tiny little quadcopter and that is what I would recommend to start out on if you wanna get into FPV. So if you have a bigger budget, 
definitely, definitely go with this guy because it is really fun to build it and it is really, really fun to fly um, compared to the other one. The other one still flies amazingly, but this one just adds a little bit of extra fun. And the cool thing is you get to build it yourself. Um, I do have a build along video on the channel. So if you do purchase this and you don't know how to build it, you can follow that video and I'll show you exactly how to build the squad and set it up. Okay, so let's move on to the bigger FPV kits. So before I go into that though, it's important just to tell you guys that all of these kits are very adjustable. So depending on your budget, you can select whether you want a more higher end product or if you want a lower end product. The point is though that the quadcopter is the exact same quadcopter. Uh, but the additional add-ons, that is where you can decide if you want higher quality or a little bit lower quality. Either way, all of them still work great. As I said, all these products I would personally recommend, so don't worry, you are not buying cheap stuff that's gonna break. These are all things that will work really, really nice. So let's first start off with the goggles. So with all these sets, um, you can add them to your cart, and then at the bottom of them, you can then select which one will suit your budget. And the cheapest set of goggles is the Marvel Visions. So these goggles are really, really nice. Um, they are the cheapest ones that we have on the market. And like I said, the screen that comes with these goggles, let me take the screen out, is the exact same screen that this little guy came with. It's just this is a black one and this is a gray one. There's no difference in them, but like I said, if you do purchase this one, then you don't even need to purchase a screen. So this is the screen that comes along with the Marvel goggles, and it is a really, really nice screen. And also, what I like about these is, if you have family around and they wanna see how you fly FPV, you can take the screen out, and you can still fly FPV um, watching the screen like this, and then your family can see you while you're flying at the same time too. So that is really, really nice. The second set of goggles that we will be looking at, and which I would recommend, is a more higher end, bigger set of goggles. So these are the Headplay H. HDs. These are very, very high quality goggles. The screen resolution, the screen quality is amazing. The screen is really, really big inside of here. So it is a very immersive experience. So if you want a higher end, bigger set of goggles with a single big screen, this is definitely the goggles that I would recommend. As you can see, they are a little bit bigger on my head, but you don't really uh, notice that when you're offline. Uh, but they are really, really great goggles, which I would recommend too. And then finally, the most highest end set of goggles that I would recommend for these kits are definitely the Fat Shark goggles. And this is what I personally fly with. And the reason I do like them is just they're so small, you can throw them in your backpack and then you can just grab them out and then you're ready to go flying. So these come with two separate screens. It's not a single big screen as on the ones that I was just showing you guys. And these are just very high end goggles. The only thing though is that these all come uh, ready to go, but with these goggles you do need to add a different receiver. So again, on all those kits, as I said, they are adjustable. There are two receivers that we would recommend if you do purchase a Fat Sharks one. Um, there's a D diversity receiver, which is the one that I'm flying with here, which is more the high-end one. And then there's also another cheaper receiver, uh, which works just as well if you do uh, prefer to go on the lower end of the budget for your goggle receivers. So those are the goggles. And then the next thing that you need is a radio. So I only have one radio with me here right now. Uh, this is the Free Sky Tyrannus. And then the second radio which we would recommend is also a Free Sky Tyrannus, but it is a cheaper version of this same radio. Uh, that The reason I don't have it with me right now is that radio isn't on the market at the time of making this video. When you guys see this video, there's a good chance we will be stocking it, and it is also a great, great radio. So any two of these radios we would recommend, they're brilliant radios, and uh, we will help you set them up. If you have uh, problems with that, I'll have guide videos on my channel, and just depending on your budget, you can add any of these two radios to your cart. And then finally, the big thing that everybody has been waiting for is the quadcopter. So this is the quadcopter that I would recommend to you if you want to start flying FPV. This specific one is a custom built quad, which I built and I set up, and it is now the official FPV Academy multi-purpose, high-performance, whatever you want to call it, quadcopter. All the components on this quadcopter is only the highest quality, so you know that if you do purchase this quad, that this quad is really made for performing uh, imm immensely. I will be using this quad personally when I'm gonna be racing um, in our local and international events, and this is the quad that I will be flying for the 2016, sorry, 2017 
year of FPV. So all the videos that you will see on my channel, on the FPV Academy channel, will be recorded with this exact quadcopter. And so if you want to fly this exact same quadcopter, it is available to purchase on the getfpv.com website. So if you go on the website, there is a link in the description below to the specific quad. But if you are on the website, if you click on the FPV Academy section, then you will see that this quad is on there. And then if you don't have any other equipment yet either, such as the goggles or the radio, at the bottom of it, there is a bundle option which allows you to then add whatever set of um, goggles you want or whichever radio you want, depending on your budget, you can just add all of that to your cart in one single click. You don't have to go around wondering, does all of it fit together? Don't worry about that. And the beauty of that is then once you get all those things, we have set up guides and build along videos and all of that on this channel that will help you to get up and flying. So if you purchase the Marvel Vision goggles and you don't really know how to set it up, we'll have a video that helps you to set up the Marvel Vision goggles with this exact specific quad so you won't have any problems. If you're purchasing this quad as the build along kit, then we have a very in-depth video on the channel which allows you to learn how to build this quadcopter and then build it along with the video. So this is the multi-purpose quad which I will be using for mostly flying freestyle. Then this over here, this is the racing quad. So this one isn't built yet, I just wanted to show you guys what the difference is between the two. On the FPV Academy section on the website you will see that there are two different quads which you can purchase, the bigger ones. Um, like I said, there's tiny whoops on there too, but these are the two big ones that we would recommend. And this is the um, the multi-purpose quad and this is the racing quad. The only difference between the two of them is that this one has this little top plate on it and this one has a different frame and a race pod. So it's also a QAVX, both of them are called QAVX frames, but this is a stretch frame and stretch frames um, are known to be better for racing quads. And then also it has a very aerodynamic racing pod. So if you're a pilot that don't really care about freestyle, I know there's a lot of guys out there that don't really fly any freestyle at all, they just love racing and you just want to get into racing, then I would recommend you purchase this one. And like I said, the only difference is just the frame and the canopy. All the hardware, the camera, the flight controller, the motors, the electronic speed controllers, everything is exactly the same except for the frame. And then the same as with this one, if you are purchasing this, there is a build along video that goes along with it. We also sell them in ready to fly kits if you don't want to build it, but we would recommend that you learn how to build your quad because there's a good chance you're gonna crash, there's a good chance you might um, break a motor when hitting a tree at 100 miles an hour, who knows what would happen, and then you have to replace that motor and you don't really know what to do. So we recommend building your own quad, it is also really fun to build. That is half of the fun is building it and then flying it. So definitely check out these packages when you want to purchase your first quadcopter. Then finally, also on these packages, you need to have a charger and you need to have batteries. So there are a bunch of different chargers which we would recommend, which is available on those bundles. You can just select the one that fits your budget. And then the highest quality one or the most expensive one is a big one like this, which allows you to charge four different batteries at the same time. This is what I personally use. It's more than enough for me. Um, sometimes you can use it with a parallel charging board and charge up to about 16 batteries at the same time. And that does work really, really nice if you're in a rush to get a lot of batteries charged. And then finally, you also need to know which which batteries you need to purchase. So on those kits, you can select whichever battery suits your budget. And then one of them would be a graphene battery, which is a more higher quality battery, which um, has a lot of, you can do a lot more recharging cycles on those. So they usually last quite a bit longer than your normal battery. Both of those batteries are great batteries, which we recommend on the um, bundles, but just choose the one that suits your budget and then select as many as you want. I mean, you can never have too many batteries. They do get quite expensive. Once you have all the other gear, batteries are probably one of the most expensive things because you just want about 20 to 30 batteries to be able to go and fly for a good two, three hours at a time. So these are all the quads that we would recommend. Um, one that I didn't mention in this specific video, which isn't out just yet, which we are working on, is a bridge between Ooh, sorry about that, is a little bridge between this one and the bigger ones. I know that the jump from this to this is quite immense and it might be quite intimidating. And um, if you guys don't follow the FPV Academy how to fly videos, there's a very good chance that you are gonna crash these quads really hard. So please 
please, please watch the FPV Academy how to fly FPV videos because that will save you quite a bit and you will also just enjoy learning with the techniques that we will be telling you guys. But if you don't want to jump immediately from this to this, in the very near future, maybe at the time that you are watching this video, we are going to have a little three inch quadcopter bolt. So it's about in between the two of these, it's a very nice quad too. You can fly those indoors in a bigger indoor um, setting such as a big uh, facility where they might host some indoor races i wouldn't recommend flying it in the house because it's a bit too fast but the point is though there will be a, a three inch quad which will also be available on the fpv academy section on the getfpv.com website and then that specific quad will also have a three um, a build along video now, if you guys have any questions with everything that I just said, um, I know it's quite a lot to take in, but our goal is to make it as simple as possible. Uh, you just decide what you want. You can click on that specific product. We'll have everything listed under it um, as add-ons. You can click which ones you want um, to be added onto your bundle. I know we have backpacks which you can add on. We have, you don't need to, but there, there is an option there. You don't also then have to go and search the website for all those extra parts. You can just, from that specific bundle, you can just add whichever ones you want. So there's backpacks, there's even apparel, there's cool Lumineer shirts like this, there's hats, there are HD cameras if you want to film in HD, all of that on one single product and that link to these products are in the description below if you want to check that out and purchase your first FPV quadcopter. Now, if, like I said, if you have questions, let me know and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.